Darwin's theory of biological evolution tells us that all life on Earth may have originated from a single, relatively simple reproducing creature living in the distant past. This idea is based on many observations. A careful look at the fossil record overwhelmingly confirms Darwin's theory. Life forms get simpler and simpler as we go back in time. The record suggests that all life on Earth emerged from primitive cellular colonies, which first appeared roughly three and a half billion years ago. But how did those first reproducing creatures come about? That life was being made in the oceans with the help of volcanic vents. The heat of these volcanoes helped make chemical reactions which eventually led to the first anaerobic microscopic bacterium and viruses. Because these were anaerobic and didn't need oxygen, these single-celled organisms, like stromatolites, started to produce oxygen through photosynthesis. In the Paleoproterozoic era, cyanobacteria began to photosynthesize, which yielded to even more oxygen in the atmosphere. With 21% of oxygen present on the Earth, this resulted into more complex organisms to form. Although this was good in a sense, it was considered poison for the anaerobic bacterium, which led to their decline. Earth's been a cosmic paradise for all types of life. From small, single-celled organisms such as bacteria, to large, multicellular mammals, including man. It's believed that all life on our planet descended from a single, common microbial ancestry. Approximately 3.4 to 3.8 billion years ago. But how that microbe came into being remains puzzling. One way to search for answers is to look for ancient rocks where microbes leave trace evidence of their existence. Geology is a crucial tool for understanding the origins and evolution of life on Earth because the historical record of life on Earth is almost entirely recorded in the rocks that we walk on. Geologist Abigail Allwood's journey to discover the origins of life took her no farther than her own backyard. The Pilbara region of West Australia contains some of the oldest rocks on our planet. They're almost three and a half billion years old. The Pilbara contains rocks from the early Archean era that have survived on the Earth today. They contain several rock units that contain possible evidence for life. Planet Earth has been around for over 4.6 billion years. But most of its original surface has been obliterated by plate tectonics and erosion. The extremely thick crust in the Pilbara has helped it resist destructive geologic processes. The Pilbara hasn't been strongly affected by plate tectonics and the original features in the sedimentary rocks are more or less ready for us to interpret. There are also uh, sedimentary rocks of similar age, almost three and a half billion years old in South Africa. So far the Pilbara seems to have yielded a richer fossil record. Allwood spent more than three years surveying some of the rock formations in the Pilbara, examining unusual structures called stromatolites, fossils formed by living organisms three and a half billion years ago. We realized that what we were looking at was the remnants of an ancient reef, a microbial reef. It's not a reef made of coral like we're familiar with today, but a reef made of stromatolites, structures formed by microorganisms. Stromatolites are rocky structures that form on the sea floor where fine layers of sediment are built up into cones, domes, and other shapes over a long time with the help of tiny organisms. A stromatolite is not alive, but is a structure made by living things. When we find one in the fossil record, it is like finding the footprint of long dead microorganisms. But the microbes themselves are almost never preserved as fossils inside the stromatolites. And without that, it is extremely difficult to be sure an ancient stromatolite is proof of life. But in this case, 
Allwood found that the Pilbara stromatolites are in fact biological. She just may have discovered the oldest evidence of life on our planet. These stromatolites are the uh, oldest convincing evidence of life on Earth. Then these amazing pronounced conical structures that are not like any kind of wave ripple or a structure that you'd expect to see on the seafloor where there's no biology. These are interpreted as stromatolites, sedimentary structures formed by microorganisms that lived at the interface between the sediment and the ocean. Allwood used geological techniques to interpret the environment these fossilized microorganisms may have lived in almost three and a half billion years ago. What we saw was that immediately before the stromatolites formed was a setting pretty much just like this, a rocky coastline. We see that the stromatolites only exist in the shallow water environment and don't exist in the deep water areas that were existing at the same time. This fossilized ecosystem provides a glimpse into the past and what might be the remains of man's earliest ancestors. I wasn't too fascinated initially because it was like, oh, we're going to go see some living fossils. By the time we got down there and really to look at the stromatolites, just gorgeous out there. Hamlin Pool. Hamlin Pool. It's one of the two places in the world that they are still living. I want to go back. I want to tell everyone that I know that what I have experienced and I wish that, that they will take the opportunity to experience what I have experienced.